folks good morning on my usual morning walks in my hood and my hood is kiamoni the lush green kiamoni of course always sasa hey hey ningeanza hii video mapema kidogo lakini it has been raining lakini nataka hii manyasho nyasho bado morning walk lazima iendelee ama namna gani jameni so now sasa tunaanzia hapa okay i'm far from home but uh, this is where i am all right in my area sasa hapa ndo tunaanzia uh, hii safari tukibonga bonga tu okay some gated communities hapa uh, yeah tunaendelea sasa tukibo tukibonga bonga yeni perfect haya sasa now umeamkaje jameni okay umeamka vipi umeamka vizuri umeamka na afya njema unapaswa kushukuru Mungu wetu daima umeamka vizuri umeamka na afya njema unapaswa kushukuru Mungu wetu daima kunaona tu ni ujenzi kunaona tu ni ujenzi 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 kwa wingi so this section of uh, Kiamonye hapa naona tu ni residential homes Okay. this section happen on residential homes kwa wale ambao wanasema Ezra can I get a parcel there huko nyuma mali nilipita uh, kitambo tu kidogo kuna mtu alikuwa ameweka hapo a quarter acre parcel for sale like uwezi kosa huku hivi unaona huku uwezi kosa right lakini apartments huku juu na hapo no <laughs> kuna tu ni residential kuna tu ni homes tu Right. Kuna tu ni homes. Wow, there's another one there. Hii inakaa imemaliziwa juzi juzi roofing. Hmm? Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Wonderful. Now folks, kuna hii market moja ambayo imekosa hii nakuru. And I've been getting these inquiries. Na nitakaa chini to discuss tena hii maneno. Okay? Kuna hii market ya rent to own. Rent to own. That market inakosa inakuru. I've been getting a couple of inquiries. Ezra can I get a rent to own apartment? Nawaambia unfortunately no. Sijapata hata moja. Can I get a home then in a gated community with a plan of rent to own? Rent to own. Unfortunately nawaambia developers wameniambia wanataka cash cash na kumalizana in 6 months kuna wengine maybe wanamalizana in 12 months but very few so hiyo market jameni ah uh, inakosa hapa nakuru okay so folks if you don't know me my name is Ezra Ondara i do real estate content in nakuru i do house hunting in nakuru if you're coming to nakuru and if you're looking for a home to stay an apartment for rent You just call me. My number is always on the screen. Hit me up and I will show you the good places where you can stay. Today I am walking. I'm taking a walk in Kiamoni. It's a morning walk. I do this every day. Sometimes, you know, kuna rasha rasha za mvua. Uh, but other times, oh folks, there's something interesting <laughs> that, that that I like you to see. Uh this side, eh? Actually today I have an appointment with somebody to take them around Kiamonye. <laughs> I've done a lot of a lot of videos in this area till somebody told me Ezra I want to go hand in hand with you. Take me around that place. You know, take me for a tour, a ride. So actually that is happening today. So on this road that I'm walking this particular road uh one time I was here and I noted uh some uh, some signage okay uh let me just get there so that you get what i'm saying very well so they have called they have finally given this estate a name which is high ridge kiamony This is High Ridge. <coughs> nice. That is 
Highland Ridge. Oh, Highland Ridge, not High Ridge, sorry. <laughs> Highland Ridge established in 2023. Okay, I saw Nairobi, Nairobi Street somewhere along this road. <laughs> and uh, it was it was interesting. You know, giving a street Nairo giving a street the name Nairobi. I'm like in Kiamoni. Calling a place Nairobi Street. <laughs> yeah. So up here it is only I only see residentials, you know. No apartments here. I only see residentials on this side. Yeah, so like I was saying, even you, if you want, you know, if you want me to take you around Nakuru, uh, yeah, we can always organize something. You know, we can always organize something. And I will take you around the city of Nakuru. So this is Elgon Climb, right? Oh, yeah. So through this gate here, it's a gated place. Through that gate, and uh, yeah, Tendele, let's go on until Tufike Pale Musho. I want to show you more of those signages and some, uh, you know, some interesting names, you know, that they have given them. We have seen High Ridge, we have seen Elgon View, all right, and now we are about to get to Nairobi Street. Yes, folks, so if you want uh, somebody to take you around Nakoro from this place to that place, yeah, to even the lake, but especially to the estates for now, you know, because <laughs> I got some folks coming here. And uh, by the way, Kwanza, hey, hey. folks, Wale Ambao Mulitoka Nakoro 2000, 1999. London is not ghetto. Tafadhali. Imagine I got some folks coming here from Nairobi. And then, like I said in another vlog, if you're coming for house hunting in Nakuru, be open-minded. But now there are folks who left Nakuru in 1999, in 2005. And to them, London was a ghetto. You know, so they are telling people, ah, don't go to London, London is ghetto. I met this person on Nyambiati. I was told not to go to London. That London is ghetto. I only want Naka and 5-8. Allah, okay, <laughs> tafadhali, and they say, when I ask them, who told you that, they're like, oh, I just asked some friends who have been to Nakuru, okay, and they told you London is ghetto, folks, finally, Nairobi Street, yeah, Nairobi Street, there we are, Nairobi Street, that's the street, that is Nairobi Street in Nakuru, okay, in Kiamoni, Nairobi Street. So finally, Nimefika wapi? Finally, Nimefika Nairobi Street. I have to take a picture here. I have to. Nairobi Street. So if you come to live here at this place, just know you are in Nairobi, in quotes. <laughs> Nairobi Street. Yes, so after that, Nairobi Street. Let's continue. So, folks, I was saying, you know, there are these folks about Wanambiwa. You know, they're just picking information. Maybe they are picking information from blogs, you know, from some blogs online. And the blogs are saying, you know, this place is like this, this place is like that. And I even tell some of you, can't we just go there? You know, let's just get there. You see it for yourself. So, I was walking around with this uh, clientele, and they were nervous. You know, they're like, hey, Ezra, me. Hey, at what you go? How far is it? I mean, <laughs> you guys, man. <laughs> What's the nervousness about? Eh? These guys were nervous. So they're like, hey, Ezra, man. let's just narrow it down to Naka. Okay, so. Aya, right, folks, before 20, let me your story. Lakeview Street. There we go. Lakeview Street. Wonderful. Lakeview, that side. I'm not sure if you're on that side, you can see the lake. I'm not really sure. <laughs> and especially given, you know, the trees around ETC, 
I'm not sure if you can see the lake from here, unless uh, it's, an, it's an apartment, but that's the name, Lakeview Street. Ah, yeah, now, let's turn back, continue, and then Topita Malingin. Yeah, so now, let's go back to that story. If you're coming to Nakuru for house hunting, just be open-minded. I'm telling you, be open-minded. So I was telling you about these folks, you know, and they told me, ah, Ezra, let's just narrow it down to Naka. So to Katembea Naka, yes, we got some units, uh -huh, and uh, some new, some, you know, decent, some not new. You know, we got a mix of all those. But, uh, okay, kila moja likuwa na issue yake. Unaingia yu unasema, ah, bedroom ni ndogo. Unaingia ingine unasema, ah, this is 30,000, no, we are looking for something for 25. So, nikawambia, fine. There's something very new I know somewhere, okay? And that is at Olive in Kiamoni, two bedroom and three bedroom. Can we just go and you have a look at that one? Ah, T. Ezra, no, we were told that side, Sujui, there is no water. Just from uh, from West Side Mall, where we were going that side, we were told, no, no, no. Tafadali, <laughs> folks. Where we come to Mbangi Nakuru, Kama Mimi, you have no proper understanding of these places in 2024. Mimi, I have. So, Okay. I'm like, really? I'm like, Jameni. So, the best, the best, just be open-minded. Okay, just be open-minded. So I brought these folks to Olivain. In fact, I told them, I'm telling you, they go to that apartment. They went crazy. They went crazy. So one factor about your apartment is Okay, so they have a pantry. Parking is acres of space. Nobody is going to wake up. Anybody that now wake up, uh, let me, you know, pull back my car. Then you will enter. No. The tile work is super. The kitchen. Oh, my goodness. I've not done a video of that apartment. I'm still engaging the, you know, the directors. You know, uh, some of these folks want to say, my, hey, Ezra Mazes, we are camera shy. Somebody told me like that, you know, going to do, or, you know, when I wanted to to, to to feature the apartment on this channel. So they told me, hey, Ezra, sissy, we are camera shy. I'm like, it is not you, you know, who is appearing in the video. It is just the house. And if the, if the house appears in the video, okay, I, I mean, surely, I'm not going to eat this house. This house is not going anywhere. Nobody is coming to take this apartment from you. They're like, ah, oh, no, 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 Ezra. Okay, sissy, we are camera shy. Watch a two, keep a two customer to Utalet and Kasama. Okay, so actually, folks, there are things that I've not done because maybe Ukamoya and Yambia they are camera shy when you know Kasama. Hey, Ezra, see, we like keeping our things private, all right? Well and good, but the point is be open minded. Another point, folks, while I'm bound Naka Huku Nakuru, Ama when you're talking 2005. 1999 stop giving feeding people with narratives the 1999 to people who are coming to explore this place today this is 2024 london has changed when you left here london had no tarmac now it is tarmacked all through you know even i've been calling it out now for upgrade you know when you left here freehold langalanga had no tarmac now it is tarmacked all through so stop feeding people with narratives of 1999. Tafadali. Let's continue. Ah, nice. So I'm still in Kiamoni. Kiamoni is huge. <laughs> That's why this folk who has been watching this series, these particular videos of Kiamoni is like, Ay, Ezra Webe, Ebu take me around that Kiamoni. That place seems to be, you know, huge. It is expansive actually. Kiamuni is huge. It's a huge place. Now, finally, I've arrived at one of the roads here, which are tarmacked. Ah, wonderful. 
All right, wonderful. In fact, let's get to that gate. Then I will go back. Yeah, you can see from, you know, the road. It had been raining. When I started this walk, it was raining. Okay, that's why I told you I didn't start uh, vlogging. Earlier on, it rained for about 20 minutes. I was still on the road, man. You know? So, wakati likauka kidogo, that's when I only sema. You know, we have to do this. Okay, so this section of Kiamon, you can see, it is only homes. You know, it is homes, homes, you know, homes. Residential homes. No apartments here. But, uh, you know, just like any, you know, any well-planned uh, place, any well-planned estate, you usually find that uh, this is the setup, you know. So you find that apartments, you know, have been given, you know, the space, you know, on the front of that estate. But now when you go inwards, Kidogo, now that place, you usually find it is set out for, you know, for residential homes, you know, I even saw the same thing in Kitengela. You go to Kitengela, the face of Kitengela, you know, you, you will see them apartments, the clubs, the joints, etc. But now, when you go inside Kidogo, now you find, you know, the, uh, the gated communities, residential homes, and such kind of stuff. So, even in Kiamuni, it's no different. If you go in roads, you know, it is, you know, the homes, and of course, a place like this. This, this place is called Infinite Green Garden events and accommodation the place is wonderful this place is wonderful i'll come here one day you know this place here if you have a wedding if you have an event just like they have written well I, they have amazing let me just see if i if i can talk to, to somebody here hello Let's see if there's somebody who can come. I mean, they have a wonderful garden, you know? <laughs> I've been here on two occasions, but I didn't have my camera, but they have a wonderful garden. I'll come there another time. I'll come there another time. You know, they, I mean, manicured lawns, green spaces, some outdoor chairs there, garden chairs. It's a wonderful place these infinite green gardens just the way it is called infinite green gardens wow <laughs> i'll i'll come there another time but uh, their number is even i'm sure you have seen their number from that from, uh, from that shot so perhaps if you are interested in booking their garden for something for an event well you can always call them okay so there's a children's home here. This is known as Haven of Hope and his cherished ones, right? Children's home, right? And uh, they have dogs, eh? Oh, the dogs are like, who are those people talking out there? <laughs> they have dogs. Ah. This is so cool, man, nigga. Folks, you remember when I told you about Kiamonia Greens? This is a, the gate that goes to Kiamonia Greens. <laughs> this is the gate. And of course, that video of Kiamonia Greens is live on YouTube now. But this is the gate that goes to Kiamonia Greens. It's even written there. So let me show you. Very well, folks. Yeah, you see the gate, Kiamoni, Kiamoni Greens, all right? And that is Kiamoni Greens, that's the road. About Mapuja Nayo, you can see the kind of development that is ongoing on here at Kiamoni Greens. People are building a mansion, it's here, man. But I did another video, you can go to that one and watch. All right, now we are taking this route all the way down to the main uh, road, which is Nakoro Kabrak Road. Ah, yeah, let's continue. Let's continue. Ah. You can just call them to organize your next event, barbecue, 
uh, what graduation parties, uh, you know, what events, corporate events, birthday parties, weddings. Of course, I said that, huh? folks. Kiamuni Ezra, you love Kiamuni so much. Okay, um. It's not like I love it so much, but okay, indeed I love it. <laughs> but now, like I said, this is my first point of contact the moment I step out of the house. So, I don't know, maybe next time I'll just drive uh, maybe to Barnabas. I drive there at 5.30, then uh, at around uh, 6.20, you know, when the light is out. Then maybe I'll do a morning walk there. I'll see if that will be possible. You know, but uh, yeah, I'll try. I'll try that. I'm a content creator, you know. Content creation is a calling. <laughs> or maybe I go to, to Freehold, find a hotel there, sleep there. Then tomorrow morning, the following day, I wake up do a vlog like this at that area as well i'll try i'll 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 exploit all those options okay so that we also get to see the other places or maybe i can do those ones in the evenings yeah now in the in the evenings is better i won't have to sleep at anybody's hotel so that i can do a morning walk there so maybe i can do evening walks in those assets yeah evening will do Evening will do. So stay tuned for more of these walks from other estates as well. Because folks have been telling me, Ay, Ezra, you love Kiamuni so much. But indeed I love it. You know, One reason why I love this place uh, is the greenery. You know, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of, of concrete jungle. You know, I like living at a place where I can step out. You know, there's trees. Uh, there are, I can see avocado trees like this one here. That's an avocado tree. You know, I mean, even if there are apartments there, at least, you know, if we can do even trees, you know, on the, along the roads, you know, or even one tree per apartment. You know, for every apartment, every apartment should be told to plant a tree somewhere in their garden. Just one. Now, if you are there, if they are like, you know, um, how many? If like on this line, we have maybe 15 apartments. We have 15 trees, like every apartment you give us a tree. Now, at least, you know, <laughs> but now you go to a place, it is just apartment. You know, so there is no room for, for any tree or such, you know. So that's one reason why I love this place. The greenery. Yes. But there are places, there are other places that I love. I'll do another vlog. Majorly talking about the places that I like and the ones that I don't like in Nakuru. The estates. And you too who are watching, especially if you're from Nakuru, you can also comment and tell us which is your favorite estate and which is your least favorite estate in Nakur? Sindio, see that will be something. Yeah, you don't kama ni meka chini kama tu naangaliana. See, sa easy, sa easy. You're just hearing my voice. You don't find kama tu naangaliana. Yeah, perfecto. My girl, the last time that I check, check, and before I digress, my girl, you told me that I'm not. My girl, the last time that I check, check, and before I. This is so cool, Monica. Me a gonna need no me a river. Like you can see from you know each gate here, you see there's a home, and then on their gardens, you know, they have planted trees there. You know? 
All these are residential homes. <laughs> but you can tell in their gardens there are trees. So me, I like this. This is so Manica. Me a gana na na cry me a river. Na 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 na. So cold outside, my brother. I don't wanna eat no sugar. I just can't find. Uh, uh, the sun is out. The sun is out now. It's so cold outside, my sister. I don't wanna. You can see it is just gates, gates, gates. You know these are residential homes. Okay, but down there near the main road is where you have apartments along that line. So cold outside, my brother. I don't wanna feel no sugar. I don't want fast. That's a nice gift. I don't wanna need no hala. It's so cold outside, my brother. Me and Anna. It's so cold outside. Me a kind of man and a car of him. And I know when it's when I can't have him. And I turn and then 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 I Hizo wimbo za Nigeria pia. Unasikia wimbo iko fiti. Lakini sasa ujui hata anasema nini. Jua na yaka hizo manini zao mingi. <laughs> Their accent. <laughs> so but I love that song. So cold outside my brother. Yeah? Even right now it's actually so cold. But we are here. Whether it's cold or not. We are here. We must be here. So cold outside, my brother. Me, I wanna me. I just got It's so cold outside. And by the way, folks, you know, <coughs> there are folks who will say them they can't walk, you know, we, in this weather. Okay, five liters. Wonderful stuff. Folks, Kiamuni again is one place. Okay, there are folks here in Bao. So, like that guy is going to do delivery to, you know, one of their customers probably. Five liters, a whole five liters. Where? <laughs> Wonderful. So, ukupia, uneza pata chance ya kunyo maziwa fresh. Fresh from the cow. Not processed. Fresh, like, you know, the way it is. Okay? So, I was saying, there are folks ambao, for them, they will say, hey, mimi sizi tembea na baridi. Na yo baridi. But, unajua ni fiti sana ku expose mwili yako to, to those different conditions. Eh, unatembea wakati wa kiangazi, unatembea wakati wa baridi kama hii, eh, unatembea wakati kuna tu, kuna kamvua kadogo tu kiasi yake. Eh, ndo mwili yako ina, you know, ina prove like it can stand to the test of all those conditions. Ama namna gani? Am I out of my mind there? Because even athletes, they do this. You know, they run in cold, they run in the rain, they run in the sun. You know, I mean... Even athletes, they do this. Sasa, hapa sasa, tumeanza kuona apartment sasa. Although, ile ikombali kidogo. But kutoka hapa kuenda ukumbele, now, yeah, even this one here. Yeah, it's under construction. Even that one there. So now, we have started to see apartments, to find apartments. Yeah, naona. Lakini kule tumetoka kule ju. Kule ni homes, 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 residential homes. Okay, but now uh, apartments are going to pop up. Zimanza kuanekana yani, in short. So folks, Seattle athletes, you know, they run, they train in different weather conditions. So that your body can stand up to all those conditions. Because sometimes, eh, omanya lamenda kukimbia, siji zurich. 
huko ni baridi tena aende kukimbia sijui US aende kukimbia South Africa akimbia hapa Kenya all those places aende akimbie Asia all those places they pose different challenges to athletes and actually that's the reason why unapatanga athlete ana clock different you know minutes different times depending on you know on the weather the weather is actually a factor <laughs> yeah yeah uh, for those athletes eh? the weather uh it does impact their performance so kama uje kimbia kwa baridi for example peleko malisa ni baridi umeenda kimbia uk you know it, it is the cold season where simuli yako tu ina freeze juo umezoea tu hapa kwetu you know the tropics the weather is good you know so hata wewe mwenyewe yeah kama ni morning walk kama kuna nyesha le, sema leo naenda na hiyo mvua nayo nayo iko nini iko nini podcast kama ni ni jua ni season ya, ya jua sema nayo nayo unaona sawa sawa sasa kadi inasema iko na minute saba mali kama hapa naona two late two bedroom too late on this apartment here folks two bedroom apartment too late there ndio hiyo two bedroom ezra ntafutie two bedroom ndio hapa already <laughs> niko morning walk na niko kazi two bedroom too late is there eh angalia mali kama hapo jameni right on the tarmac unakuja tu hivi unaingia kwa nyumba hautaipata matope alafu hapa pia naona kuna home based gardens bed and breakfast restaurant pizza lounge home based gardens pia hiko hapo okay haya ya sasa tunafika tuna tuko karibu kutokea on the main road that is the nakuru kabarak road Alright so far nimetembea bana ni vile sina ile watch ya record steps but i've done some steps i've done some steps since nianze asubuhi ai at anyway at asaini asubuhi since nianze in the wee hours of in the wee hour of today Alright Uh-huh so cold outside my brother me are gonna eat no sugar i just gone fix then uh uh and uh 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 it's so cold outside not cold for me mimi naenda nayo nayo not cold for me yep Hotel Good Part. That's the landmark ambayo nimetembea. That's the landmark ambayo nimefika rather. Hotel Good Part. Ndio ile pale. That is Ola. That is Ola. Folks, let me let me shock you. Let me shock you a bit. When I came here in Kiamuni, <laughs> Hotel Good Part was under construction. Today it is, you know, it is standing right there, it is operating. When I came here, Ola was not there, the petrol station you are seeing there. Ola was not there. Today we have that petrol station and behind it there is that apartment under construction there. Wonderful. Hey, let me pass Ukuju. No, or I'll just cross the road. Let me just cross the road. Yeah, so I was saying those two things were not there. And there's a lot that I can point out to which was not here in Kiamoni when I came to this place. So to me, if I'm asked, ever since I came here until now, has this place grown? Is it growing? I would say yes. It has and uh, here is a friend of mine. Young T. Unasemaje kaka? Fresh wise. Naona uko shughuli. Niko shughuli hapa na pale. 
Ndio unaona pia wewe unaingia site. Unaingia site sasa mambo yako fresh. Bas, ulisema mnafikisha flow ngapi? 6 Flow 6. Tubakia mbili juu. Yes. Then shughuli mambo iko sawa. Sawa. Eh tunafanya finishing finishing hapo ndani. Mnafanya finishing hapo ndani. Thank you young tea. Tunaongea wazi. Haya. So that guy works at that site. Uh, you know the one I, I I showed you like a minute ago. So even this center here, this center was not there. You know, there's a mini mart here, there's a equity agent kule electrical shop CTC. So me, if you ask me since I came here in 2020, has this place grown? Yes. <laughs> it has. There's a lot that I can point out to which were not here in Kiamuni but this one this structure this one has remained like that for ages i don't know what happened to that place this one has remained like that ever since i came here you know with this mabati you know this one has remained like that ever since i arrived here all right so my camera is 2 minutes to off So Mali Taishia just know I love you all. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Mali Taishia just know Ezra loves you. All right? Yeah. Now I'm going back. Going back home. Ama ni wapeleka paka home. Alafu mjue kwangu. Eh? Kama <laughs> tufanye house tour. Aya. Yo tajua siku nyingine. Ile siku nitaenda nyumba the high end. Eh? Ndio nitawafanyia house tour. Si ndio? Naaje. Folks, welcome to Kiamonye. It is the lush green Kiamonye. It is the lush green Kiamonye. Next time, I'll I'll go from my place down to Kabarak. That's the challenge. Next time, I'll walk down to Kabarak and back. Right next time down to Kabarak. Tuende kwa kina Moi huko. Si ndio? Yeah. Aya 33 seconds. Hii wacha niwaambie goodbye. Folks, 33 seconds remaining on the card. My name is Ezra Ondara, I'm a content creator based in the city of Nakuru. I do real estate content, house hunting in Nakuru, and I do vlogs around Nakuru like even the one we are just completing now. So subscribe to Ezra Ondara TV for more from Nakuru and surrounding. All right? And of course, like, share, and remember our target is 100,000 subscribers by June. So if you are not subscribing, You are letting me down. See you in the next one.